Good morning, folks. We've got space weather, climate science, and more on the galactic physics of the structure that triggers the great solar flash. We are starting with the last 24 hours on our star at spaceweathernews.com. We find the last day on the sun was mostly quiet. Two minor pops from the incoming active areas, but no big CMEs. And then off the limb incoming on the north, there was a high C-class flare and CME from a grouping we'll see enter Earth-facing position next week. Its CME will miss Earth. We did get a coronal hole stream onset yesterday, however. The solar wind disruption we mentioned in the morning news bloomed into a full, faster stream and did cause a brief geomagnetic storm overnight, but which has waned back. Folks, not much extreme in the U.S. climate report for January, but something I haven't seen in about 60 or 70 months. The daily maximums were actually more above average than the minimums. Pretty much every month, it's been the minimum map that shows the most red, indicating that's where most of the above average temps are being recorded, but not January. Global maps are relatively unexciting as well for January. Whitewashed global warming propaganda on the right, more realistic analysis graphic on the left. And at the global scale, Dr. Spencer's publication of the UAH data shows a drop in temps globally here that month. It was the same temperature in January that it was at one point in 1983. By the way, Google has demonetized Dr. Spencer for so-called climate misinformation, so perhaps hit up his donate button. Let him know the observers are with him. And how about a spank to climatologists while we're at it? We have heavily covered the Earth safety mechanism whereby melting polar ice triggers reduced heat transport in the oceans and cools the world. Here, they pile on by saying it not only shuts down the heat transport, but as it does so, carbon has a smaller and smaller and smaller effect on atmospheric temperatures at every inch of that progression. Somehow, oops, doesn't quite cover it for climatology here. Now folks, let's look at a sort of competing theory to our galactic trigger hypothesis. We use the full magnetic system, which has gone from fringe to mainstream over the last decade, but there are still those others that seek to describe the galactic wavy current sheet another way. Here, it's the spiral density wave theory, which is actually one of the closer ones to the magnetic system paradigm we prefer, but alas, I called it a sort of competing theory because it produces the same plasma rippling waves in the galaxy and have the same effect on the star. And what do you know? They also have trouble mathematically sustaining the spiral density waves as you get to the outer portion of the galaxy. You may recall, this was the key issue in the magnetic system as well. How do the waves keep going? Well, the fun part about this not really competing theory is that the same fix for the magnetic system works for the galactic spiral density wave theory as well. All you need are nova events triggered by the stars as the waves pass, which bolster the energy to sustain that form. In case you forgot the hilarity of that work, after years of saying these smaller nova events were impossible, they have found dozens of them now, moved ahead on the trigger mechanisms, and in terms of the galactic physics, you can't make the observations match the math and models without the nova events, like the solar micronova. After all that, this is what's needed to explain what they actually observe in space. Good science here, not such great news for the life around those stars. Folks, we covered this topic in detail in our disaster book, and by the way, I figure I should mention that the book we have coming later this year is an update supplement to not only our solar forcing textbook, but the disaster textbook as well. Both will be updated in one. We greatly appreciate your support. Both of those books can be found at otf.cells.com. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.